What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac and Jesus Christ have we been given a beautiful set of cards coming to what looks like both the glitched market and the new promo out of position that we are getting. We're getting a point card Dark Matter Kobe because of course, which I'm guessing is going to be the best Kobe in the game until the end of the year. I don't expect there to be another amazing one unless they go for the GOATs again, which I'm really hoping they don't, but Point Guard Kobe is going to be ridiculous. If you manage to get your hands on him, GG's. Uh, we got Grant Hill out here as well. He definitely wouldn't be as good as a Kobe, but at the end of the day, I don't think you'd be complaining if you got him either. We've also got a Point Guard Chris Webber. We've got three main crazy point guards as well as a shooting guard Kevin Durant and a 98 overall Galaxy Opal. Um, we'll skip the these ones. We got this center power forward Magic Johnson. Obviously a lot of people know nowadays that the center Magic Johnson was a, a pretty notable game. We've We've heard about it a fair few times nowadays. Um, we've got LaMelo Ball, who plays the power forward and center position. So not really that good, but a lot of people said good things about his stats. So it looks like he's gonna be a triple threat, offline, online player, whatever you decide it to be. We've also got John Kim Noah in Joachim Noah, however you wanna pronounce it, at the point guard position. I believe when he got a bunch of assists that the 2K account tweeted about during the day. So. Joachim Noah, LaMelo out there. I do want to check LaMelo ball stats because LaMelo looks very, very interesting. Um, I've seen things along the lines of good SIGs, a uh, decent three-point shot, and a 90, which is not that bad. A 94 speed is always good for a person who's playing power forward center, but obviously he's not as tall as someone you'd want at the power forward center position at six foot seven. If you're putting this dude at center, good luck. <laughs> but this is going to be a very interesting card. Uh, for the people who do manage to pull him, don't be upset. It's not a bad thing. Uh, having a card like this, one, obviously, I'm always looking for the challenges. Hopefully, that'll get me over to level 36 today. But LaMelo Ball, looking really, really interesting. Uh, we go over to cards like Magic Johnson, who's playing the center position and power forward position. Uh, obviously, 99 on the offense. 91 defense. That's kind of disappointing. What the hell happened here? Interior looks like what lets him down. He's got really, he's got really good blocks and all that stats for what is technically a point guard. But obviously, as he's a center and power forward, they up the interior stuff a little bit. Perimeter defense is still really good. It's a classic Magic Johnson that you'd expect. Uh, you got an 89 three-point shot, which you can work with for sure. Um, overall, a decent card, not uh, one that I'm looking out for. But these four look unreal. Kevin Durant is going to be ridiculous. Uh, he's 6'10", 7'4", so he can play center, but at the shooting guard position. That is disgusting. 99 offense, 95 defense, a 97 three-point shot. Are you kidding me? That is dumb. Post moves are ridiculous as well. Defense is on point. That is quite possibly one of the best cards we're going to see. I am going to be pretty confident in saying that. He's going to go for so much. But we go over here to Chris Webber, point guard, small forward. 99 offense, 97 defense, a very good looking card as well. Again, six foot nine point guard, that's very good. Look at all the light green around here, 95, 94 three point shot. Like I said, this one or KD, you'd be happy with both. Probably, you may even want Chris Webber a bit more than any other card, but this is nuts. This is already nuts, and we haven't even hit the Dark Matter cards that are available. We'll start with Grant Hill at the 99 point guard power forward. Again, just another ridiculous card that we're getting here. 99 on both ends. The speed! He is so fast! What the fuck? This is ridiculous. At, this, at six foot eight, this, again, may be the best. Maybe better than Kobe. I don't know. We'll see what his jump shot's like. But we haven't even seen Kobe yet. Obviously, 99 on both ends, six foot six, so not as tall. Insane three-point shot, not as fast. Uh, ridiculous on defense. That is really, really good. Uh, really athletic, going towards uh, the basket. 94 ball handle as well. You pull a Galaxy Opal or a Dark Matter, I think, and you are living. You're living. You're having a great time. This is going to be a very expensive set. Obviously, we've got uh, the new glitch rewards as well. Obi Toppin is one that we'll get in a free locker code. Uh, but Paul Milsa, Bradley Beal, Emmanuel Quickly, and Keldon Johnson all go into the glitch market today. 
which may include more runes. So for the people who are looking for what may be the big mystery of season six, these guys are going to add even more to the system. And we got Bruce Bowen here, which is the card that we are getting uh, as of the with all the clues that we were doing throughout the day, which I'm going to, oh, sorry, not throughout the day, the last couple days, uh, it is going to be week two. Uh, it's up in 53 minutes for me. So uh, I've got a deadline to, to, to meet <laughs> for this video, but I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for these new, new cards coming out, hopefully. Hopefully some dubs coming soon. I'm gonna be opening packs for them. I'm just gonna do it I'm not even gonna think about it because these are Next next level ridiculous cards. So let's hope things go well for us today. Pray for a good day uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well Be sure to leave a like comment down below any video ideas suggestions and constructive criticism and subscribe to the channel If you are new we are trying to hit 1,000 subscribers as soon as possible, so any bit of help will always, always be very, very much appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya!